Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I'm going to show you a lovely technique for making crispy fish skin with any pan you've got. Now what you see there on the screen is uh, the microphone I've got on my collar stopped working, but I didn't know, so I carried on recording this introduction. But what I was showing you there was a few different pans. They're a bit beaten up, there's a cast iron pan, um, that's alright. Stainless steel, they're nice pans, but they're not good for doing... Um, fried fish because they're really hot but either one of those battered old pans and a bit of baking parchment and you're away you can make that perfect crispy fish skin every single time so that's some lock trout fillet that i bought i just uh, i scaled it earlier and i just scored it because i think it makes it look nice so I've just decided to use the stainless steel. Now, if you've ever tried pan frying fish in a stainless steel, you have to have it so ripping hot that it's just going to cook so quickly and it's not going to be any good at all. So the parchment went down. I put some olive oil in there, salt and pepper on first, a bit of thyme, and I smashed up a bit of garlic. Gas goes on, and then it goes way down to almost its lowest, sort of really, really low to medium. On the heat it goes, a little bit of seasoning on the top, and because we've got it on so low, you can see how gently that is frying. We've got time to make a little dressing sauce, so I've just got a bit of red onion, which I've finally chopped up there. I'm going to cut the tomato into the petals and just dice those bits up. They call that tomato con casse, because that's a fancy French name, but it's just diced tomato. There, there, well done. Uh, into a bowl, along with the onions, a few capers, a squeeze of lemon juice, this is so easy. Extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to that. And that's the dressing done. If you like that idea, you know, crack on and do that. It's very nice. And just let that sit for, well, the rest of the time it's going to take the fish. Did it taste nice? Mm. Yes, that was nice. So, after a few minutes, I decided butter will make this better. So, putting a bit in there. And what I'm sort of trying to show to you there is, you can see how the fish is cooking. It's actually really easy to cook fish. Because it's very visual. Um, and a minute or so later, I just tried to, can I ease it over? Yes, it will. If it feels like it's not giving up, it's just, it wants to hold on, just, just carry on cooking at a really low temperature, don't panic. It will, it will let go after another minute or so. And because you're cooking it so slowly, you've got plenty of time. You can cook this almost all the way. That final base, squeeze the lemon. Obviously, this is a technique video, don't worry about the actual recipe. It's just so you can have a go at doing it. And here we go, some uh, bit of green vegetables in a pot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fish off and I'm going to let that rest. I think it's always nice to let things rest for a couple of minutes whilst the vegetables finish. But uh, listen. Oh yes. Very happy. Nicely chilled bit of vino. There's some of those green vegetables on a plate. Nicely steamed. Very healthy. Very healthy actually for me. And uh, I don't know. Normally this is where I hand you over to me for the tasting. <laughs> and the numpty still didn't realise that his uh, collar mic is broken. What an idiot. Anyway, so I do hope you really like this technique video. I hope you give it a try. And if you do in the comments, let me know. And what I'm asking you to do here is to subscribe and comment and like and all those things. Because apparently one day that might actually help this channel. But it's not going to. But we live in hope. Anyway, that's it for now. I don't know when I'll see you again. But hopefully not too long. All right. Bye.